Ken Hitchcock loves to change the lines. He'll juggle a lot. Pat Quinn doesn't like to do it quite as much. They whistle offside, and uh, Ty Domi looks like he grabbed somebody sticking through it aside. He still has his. He and Donald Brashear having some words. Oh, yeah, the fans love to see this. Donald Brashear, it was Brashear's stick that got thrown away by Ty Domi. Even though Domi gives away an unbelievable amount of size to Brashear, they've tangled many times in their oh, career. Yeah. It was a, a late whistle there, and Ty Domi had a collision from Markov. Danny Markov will stand up extremely well at the blue line. Domi didn't like the hit coming right at the whistle. Donald Brashear pretty much waited and said, Ty, I don't care if you like it or not. <laughs> but the Flyers able to clear. Here's Brashear looking at Klaus. Oh, and it hit the crossbar. What a setup. Brashear saw that Primo was going to have a chance to get around the defenseman. And look at the little conversation there Freddie Bell for. Oh, that's great. Oh, but I'd love to be in on that conversation. Look at Eddie. He's not stopping either. Of course, the Primo chance looks out of the shot because it flanked off the iron. And that one by Leclerc went just wide. Cabrillet into the zone. Sends it across. McGillivray to the front. He was trying to set up set needs for a redirection. And that missed net sets up this break the other way. Damnock tried to hit the Markov in his back the other way. Center up. McGillivray is outside. Breaking in on it. line of Belak and Andrew Bob Ponikarowski come back out. Mark McKim running across it. Amatu. Oh, and Ponikarowski is going to get the first penalty of the game. Oh, some heavy contact. Oh, boy. Ponikarowski on Antonio Monte. But Marchman, who has certainly been known to do it, Brian Marchman has been hunting in the neutral zone. He's come across a few times. And, and that certainly set the tone, too. Marchman's really good at that. Make sure that those Philadelphia Flyers have their heads up coming through because you know this guy, if he's out on the ice, He's hunting you down somewhere. But the second hit came from Ponikarovsky right along the wall. There's Marchman on the first one. He actually missed the Monte, but that was no miss. That's Ponikarovsky who came for the pin along the board. I don't know if they're calling that boarding or what it is. But I think because it appears to me that because Amante was in such a susceptible position being down low, that he got hammered into the end wall. Capping it out from the flyer zone with some speed. Hands it off for Recky. Oh, oh. Run into by McCabe. Now Leclerc to the loose puck. He is hit by McCabe. They continue to battle. Brian McCabe came across and just hammered Mark Recchi into the boards, and I believe he even got one of the lines in along with him. Number eight way along here. Look at McCabe. McCabe had him lined up. It was huge contact. Recchi saw him coming at the last second and was able to escape part of it. But I think the knee of the linesman actually probably did more damage on Mark Recky than anything. Yeah, he's getting his visor fixed yeah. right now. And now Belfour. Flea. Oh, Flea is hit hard. His head goes into the board. That was sharp that hit him. And Flea, yeah. Darcy Tucker right away over at Patrick Sharp. It, it didn't look like it was going to be that dangerous to hit, but there was no question that the head of Flea, you know, he, got, he got sandwiched right along the glass, there's no doubt. The puck is bouncing right there. That's why he's standing in one place. Fedora comes in and crushes him, and he hit, I think, the partition. That careful part of the game is really back again, isn't it? Both players on both teams yeah. trying not to make any mistakes. Both of them playing controlled and disciplined through most of the series. Back up to the line. Now a pass to the front of the net. Score! Kilger! Great redirection! 3-0 Toronto! The energy in the building is so pro-Toronto, which is obvious from the score of 3-0. Bonacorowski almost had his second goal. Look out. Marshman went low there on Berkshire, and there comes Bobby Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Marshman went looking, and he didn't miss by much. Brian Marchman is a hunter. He came across there. And Donald Brashear saw him at the last second, but then it was the second collision right along the wall. And you know when Brashear gets in the middle of things that things are not going to go away quietly. 
Ryan Marchment is an effective guy, and you got to have your head up. Steve Brashear saw him at the last second, even with no six. He didn't see this one coming. Hand off to Ronick. Ronick. Sends it across to the far side, picking it back for Shamnoff, who's Takamati, he scores! Tony Amante! And the Flyers regain control. Here is Recky, oh. look out, he was lined up there and just drilled by McCabe. In game two, we talked a lot about how they just shot the puck from bad angles and had people go into the blue paint. That has not happened to the credit of Toronto oh. taking those plays away from them. Oh, no penalty on that hit. Somebody got wrecked. I can't wow. who it is. Markov. Markov looks over at uh, Marawelli and just put his arm up like, you got to be kidding. I think that was Alexander Mogilny again, who's thrown a couple of big hits along the wall. Danny Markov. Oh, look out. out. Now oh. Ronick gets into it. Ronick had hit somebody with a stick. Another Maple Leaf came over and took a shot at Ronick, and he had had enough. And now Danny Markov has a chance to get right back in there. He is one unhappy camper. Number 55 in white gets in there against Chad Kilger. But you knew this was coming. I mean, the temperature of this game has been going up. Philadelphia doesn't have things going their way. And they want to find a way to get back in. Jeremy Roenick is never shy to get involved in things. I kind of love this stuff when it happens. You don't like to see anybody get piled from behind. But that was... Markov going down, and then JR says, come on, let's get it on here. Gary Roberts says, hey, I'm just trying to make a living here, guys. Ragnarsson, Ragnarsson took a swipe at him as he went over into the corner. Really took a swipe at him. These two have been going at each other since the first shift when Ragnarsson KO'd Mogilny with an excellent uh, body check. Oh. And that oh. was an excellent two-handed karate chop to the back of the knee. This won't stop here. Well, now when the first year penalty ends, he can't come out of the box. Here is Lee setting it up. Score! Darcy Tucker! Four to one, Lee. The worst and most painful size is number three in blue. Wade Belak, who comes in at 6'5 and about 230 pounds. Robert Esch defending his turf. Maple Leafs win it four to one. The Flyers now lead the series two games to one.